pretty decent condition up until you get into um, some areas like back here and then she's got some pretty bad matting that is going to require mostly shaving in between her legs and Phoebe will kind of follow me as I do that um, I have a bather with me today who's gonna be able to hold the camera and really get in there um, this I can actually probably brush quite a bit of it out surprisingly um, with a matte splitter, but we'll see because if she hasn't been groomed very often or before she may not tolerate the amount of pain um, Or she it's not that it's meant to be painful, but it may end up cooling on her and she may just be super sensitive to that So we'll see how this goes But maybe Take my phone. Okay. Taking the phone. Take the phone. I take the phone. Take the phone <laughs> So we talk to each other Okay so, this poor dog, she's like, what is happening? She's like, what is happening? Why is this happening? So we're gonna use the belly band on her just because she's not used to the grooming experience and when I go right in here. to shave, um, when I go in to shave that area, I really don't want her sitting on the clippers. That doesn't need to be her first experience with grooming. So we're gonna belly band her. Hi, yeah, you're gonna have to stand up. I'm so sorry, don't die. There we go, it's okay. We're gonna make it, Ivy. We're gonna make it, I promise. There we go, okay, Ivy. Ivy. She was like, no. Ivy. I'm okay. <laughs> I, I think I'll stay right here. Oh my god, Ivy. Okay. There we go, sweetums. It's okay. It's okay. Hey. Yeah, uh, the reason it's there is because you keep trying to walk off the table, babe. Hot dog okay. is watching us. Hi, hot dog. That's where we're located at Hot Dog Ranch. I call it Hot Dog Ranch, but it's really called Heart of Texas. Heart of Texas Dog Ranch. But it's Hot Dog Ranch to me. So. <laughs> they called us. They called us in for this special case. Alright. Let's not be weird. Let's get down to business. Okay. Start time is six. I'm gonna write that down so that we don't forget. Do 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 timer. Oh, okay. Hi, babe. So we're gonna do behind her ears first. She's got mats behind her ears, and quite frankly, I very rarely ever brush behind the ears when there's a mat because uh, the skin is really sensitive back there, and it's just it's gonna end up being painful if I try to brush all that business out. So we're gonna just Ooh, oh I know you haven't heard clippers before. It's super scary stuff, huh? It's okay. Yeah, I know, babe. It's okay. Let's do this. Let's take this off all together. That way you don't act. I'll actually have to take a time down you. I know. Freaking weird, right? What's happening? What is happening, huh? There you go. Okay. Okay. Alright, cool. She's like, I don't think I have She's like, this. I'm freaking out, guys. Alright, babe, ready? The vibration may scare her, so she may end up moving really fast again. Like that. Yep. Hi. Yeah, sorry, it's gotta get done, babe. Gotta get done. One, two, three. Good girl. There you go. Ooh, I'm so excited to take a turn down your booty. Yeah, I know, babe. I know. Super scary stuff. I know. Alright, we're gonna tighten this up a little bit just so that I limit her movement. It looks a little bit cruel sometimes, especially if you're not used to the grooming world, to make the noose a little tighter like this, but for her safety, I need her to stop moving around so much that she can injure herself. So. I know, baby. Oh. Okay, babe. And if you're wondering, why don't you just use scissors? Because you never use scissors on a mat, so you don't know how um, bunched up the skin is underneath the mat. And so if you use scissors, you may just end up taking out, off a bunch of skin. I know, what is happening? Maybe should have started. Oh, it's okay. Are you gonna be vicious? Are you gonna be the most vicious little Pyrene? I have yet to meet a Pyrenees that doesn't like me, so in due time, Ivy, we shall be friends. I know, scary stuff, babe. Scary stuff, babe. I got one more. Let me get it. Oh, baby, I know, I know. So she's really nervous because she has never, as, as 
far as I know, I could be wrong, and Dad can watch it anytime and correct me, but as far as I know, she hasn't been groomed before or very often, so she's definitely pretty nervous about the noises. All right, we're gonna get this side now. She's got another mat right here. And we're just gonna try to take a quick swipe. I'm gonna limit the mat as much as possible. Come here, where are you at? Here you are. Okay, and we're gonna see if we can just get this done really fast. I know, babe. Hold on, babe. Hold on, babe. Hold on, babe. Hold on, babe. Uh, babe, when you do that, it's harder. You know what? I'm gonna use the cordless. Abby! The way I'm not limited by a cord. Use my other one, too. Alright, babe. Let's do this. Above your sounds, above my to the face. The home. I would like to put on some music, because that would probably distract her from the noise. But every time I put on music, Instagram shuts me down because like Spice Girl comes on and then it's like, hey, that's, um, that's copyrighted. We're gonna go ahead and shut you down for playing copyrighted music. And then I get sad. Because then it won't even let me keep the video. Did I get it? I took a quick swipe in there, but I don't know if I actually got it. Did I? Oh, questionable. Hmm. We'll see. This is a gray Hong Kong, super important for Pyrenees um, maintenance as well. And I'll be listing all the tools. Uh, mainly I'm doing such a thorough video today because dad wanted some tips on maintaining a Pyrenees coat. So this, is, this video is really for him. But it can be educational for everyone! Woohoo! There you go, babe. I know, babe. I know. Super scary stuff. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and loosen this. And I'm going to go ahead and we're going to go to the back. <laughs> the back! Alright, my love. So, it doesn't look bad initially. Um, but then when you actually lift up, you begin lift up the tail. <sighs> All of this is one solid mat. And I, especially because it's in such a sensitive area, I am not going to attempt to demat it. What I am gonna do is try to loosen it up and leave as much of this as possible so that she still has the Great Pyrenees look, but this is all gonna be naked. So we're gonna see how she works with that. Pray for us. It's really tough. It's really tough, poor thing. Hi, I know, hi. Yeah, that's weird, right? Leave is all up in your business. a lot of redness and irritation you actually can see some of that redness and irritation because what it does is it's constantly pulling especially in this sensitive area so once I shave it a lot of times bruising will develop because blood rushes back into the area blood vessels will pop gets really red and irritated and the dogs will oftentimes lick it to the point of being raw so um, just FYI uh, once it is shaved she will probably want to get all up in that so um, you know what I'm gonna have you oops sorry I don't know why I turned that off. Sorry, guys. Okay. I have this. I have this. Okay. I'm trying to give you guys the best angle. Ugh. While also using my, my bather. Because I need her. Okay. Let's see if this works. Probably not. This would be too easy. But we're going to try anyway. some cords, just ignore that. Science! Science! Science. We're doing the most science of things, okay? Yeah. 
now, but it's like now I have to like I gotta make sure the little ball just doesn't Okay. Hold on, why am I doing that? I can just turn it this way and make it more stable. There we go. Okay, so if you I'm gonna have you hold her here. I don't know how she's gonna react. It looks like it's gonna be super painful for her. So if she starts turning around to get really upset, you can just let go and walk away and I'll deal with it. Um, then I'm gonna have you hold her tail up for me. And we're gonna give this a shot. Here we go. I'm taking a 10 blade to the inside right here. Oof. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. She's gonna feel a thousand times better when we're done with this. Ooh. Yeah, it's very clear that she's got some skin issues going on underneath here. I can already see brown speckles, which is usually indicative of like yeast or some sort of um, skin issue, skin infection possibly. Oh my gosh. Sorry, you're probably just looking at my hair right now, but it's essentially doing a medical procedure right now. <sighs> okay, hold up, there we go. Okay, so, okay, and it's tied right there. Hold on, I know, that's a weird hanging spot right there. Hold on, let me get it. There we go. Okay. Okay. Cool, cool. So now, I'm going to try to just break this mat off. I know, babe. I know. You're doing so good, mama. You are going to feel so good when I'm done. I promise. see that's a huge chunk of it right there. Let's get it when it's hanging off your vagina, sorry. Instagram, don't ban me for saying vagina. It's the technical legal term, it's the technical scientific term. Okay, and then I'm just gonna try to take the rest of this off. Look at that. That's gnarly. So this was directly what was near her vagina and just constantly pulling on that area. This is the area I was most concerned about because um, it was really close to her skin and it did not want to come off. But you can kind of see what I was talking about. I'm going to leave more of this fall. I will go ahead and um, demat the rest of this, but I'm going to leave more of this fall so that at least covers some of this up. But she's going to be naked um, from in there. So I kind of want to keep this a souvenir. Oh my god, we could have a googly eyes on it. <laughs> okay, alright, I'm gonna stop being weird. I'm weird, guys, this is what happens. Alright, now I'm gonna do the other side. Oh, and this is what, oh, crap. Oh, okay, I thought I was, I thought I was sitting on a shampoo pump, and I was like, no, it's gonna spray shampoo everywhere. Okay, alright. Doggy vagina, please don't sue me for nudity. Anyways, um, so you can see some of the skin condition I was talking about, those little brown speckles. It's usually indicative of 
um, raw or irritated skin, some sort of skin condition. Oftentimes it's just like a minor yeast infection. Um, I'm not a vet though, so at the end of the day I can't diagnose this dog, but it's good to always document these kinds of things for mom and dad to know so that they can watch it. Now she will probably end up licking a lot of this area raw, but we're gonna put a conditioner on her that will hopefully make her feel much better anyway, so. All right, now to demat her back. Take a a little effort. Lots of voices. I'm sorry, babe. Don't you already feel better, though? Right? Not so bad, Ivy. Ivy, do you want a jerky? Ivy. Do you treat? Did you, did you like one? You did really good. Are you interested in the jerky treat? She's like, I am. If I weren't up here, I would definitely eat it if it were on the floor. She's like, it looks she sus. It. She does want it. She's just like, mm -hmm. A lot of the times the dogs don't eat them when they're on the table. They want to wait till they're on the floor. She's um, like, you're acting sus. I don't want your booze. She's like, is it drugged? Are there drugs in there? Okay, so. Now, we're going to go ahead and tackle this. And I'm going to use some Artero Matte X. And I'm going to keep the thing on her, the belly band on her, just because I, I prefer her standing for this right now. And I'm going to get as much under it as I can, and I'm going to get it soaked in this stuff. And then I'm going to use a mat, I'm going to use a mat splitter, and we're going to see how she reacts. If she ends up reacting like she's in a whole lot of pain and it's just really uncomfortable, um, then we'll just probably have to shave it out. But I'm going to try to save as much of it as possible. So we'll see how this goes. Okay, there's a chunk of it. Here. Baby, you can just come back here, Mom. Come on over here. Just like over here trying to like Michael Jordan it. Like, yeah, I got this. Okay. I am the Michael Jordan of the short people world. <laughs> okay. So the uh, mat splitter is essentially this is these are blades, and you're sawing essentially a lot of the fur off. Um, but it leaves a lot of the fur as well. So rather than doing it with a shaver, which will make it totally bald, this will at least leave something behind while also cutting the fur. So you don't use it like a brush where you brush out. You go under, you feel where it's tough, and then you kind of pull and slide up like an actual like knife. So that's what you're gonna be seeing me do for a second. I'm not pulling the mat super taut, because I don't want her to be super uncomfortable. I'm just pulling it just enough to make the mat splitter do its job. She's taking it very well. It's a little uncomfortable for her, but she's a strong, independent woman. Let's see if we can just do a chunk at a time. There we go. So there's another chunk. Hi, Lynette. Thanks for joining us. Now the reason I couldn't do this in between her legs, too tight and too, too sensitive. There's no way I'm going to be able to do that between her legs without her killing me in the end. So I'm going to get my other one real quick right straight back and forth. Hold on. I have a left and a right-handed one. Moving over to the left-handed one just because of the angle I'm at.
Pretty purple. Yeah.
I'm gonna pinch right here at the base of her skin, at the base of this, um, at the root, and then pull so that way it doesn't pull on her skin. And that way it's a lot more comfortable than me just like eh, going through and the only reason I wasn't doing that earlier is because she keeps kind of moving around and I'm like, gotta pick the best of both worlds here. She might not like that right away. Yeah, so. Okay, so I'm just gonna throw it away. Hi, there's a whole freaking Pomeranian in here. Let's go. Hi, are you just like chilling on my bed? Yep, kind of. Boop. In the trash we go. Alright, babe. Let's get you bathed, huh? Let's get you feeling better. Where are you going? Where are you going? I don't care right, if you let's are. Talk about that.
environment I recommend this nozzle at Lowe's eight bucks gets underneath all that undercoat for you so you don't have to sit there and try to scrub it at yourself.
play this nozzle is a godsend. I have the Savior Fur. I tried it in the van. Um, it worked in the van, but it only worked in the jet setting. The other setting, the softer setting, just, it didn't circulate any of the soap. So I highly recommend the Savior Fur, which is about 60 bucks um, for salons. But if for mobile, this is going to be the better choice. It, just, it requires less PSI to be more powerful. So highly recommend this. And I'm gonna go slow. I'm not gonna sit here and rush through it. The point of these nozzles is that you don't rush through it. I'm not gonna just sit here and be like, okay, I'm just gonna roll wet. I'm gonna really work it underneath all the undercoat and all the matting to make sure I'm getting down to skin. And this will take out a good portion of that brush for me. So the time that I'm using to really get underneath all this coat is the time I'm saving from brushing it and causing her some really big annoying though. Does that feel good? <laughs> Just like, oh, that's my spot right there. Um, it's, it's really annoying for the dog when you try to brush it out because their skin can be really sensitive and it hurts. Okay, now I'm going to do more of a comb setting because she doesn't have as much undercoat up here. So I'm going to make it a little bit of a softer setting. But it still gets nice. This shampoo sit for a few minutes because it does have medicated shampoo in it. So I, I want that to sit and benefit her as much as possible. She's finally relaxing into it. I think she's realized this is going to feel really good on her. She's going to hate the dryer though, so already pre warning you guys. She is probably going to donkey kick for the dryer. Don't judge. We're going to do the best that we can. I love it for tails too, because it's always like really difficult to get into the tail when you're scrubbing and the tail's really thick. And you can see. Can you turn it off for a second? The super Can you turn it off? Yeah. So you can see, because sometimes a lot of the times it's really like the tails are really thick, it's really hard to get to the base of the tail. So this is a really good tool. It gets to the base of the tail and it pushes out all that thickness. So all of this, this was here. And it's slowly pushing it out and loosening it up for me so that I don't have to like really brush it out later. And I'm getting this tail super duper clean. So, and I know that the soap is getting down to her skin and doing what it needs to do. Okay, you can turn it back on. I just wanted to say that out loud. Again, I'm not rushing the process. I'm letting the nozzle do its thing. Really get deep in her fur. Okay, go ahead and just, ma'am, if I can have the nozzle, please, thank you. Uh, there we go. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, God. Oh, ma'am. There we go. Okay, there we go. I'm really awkward. was a pretty thick spot and the nozzle just pretty much took that out so I was just spending some extra time there. I'm going to double check my drain. Yeah, it's covered in the so all of my recirculator can still process. Okay, let's start working on the other half, okay? Yeah, that was really confusing, wasn't it? Oh my gosh, it feels so much better. It's really confusing. It's okay, you can be confused. Alright, ready? Other set. Like your hose is mine now. My hose. <laughs>
can turn the hose, you see softer cone, jet stream, softer cone, jet stream, and the whole time it delivers that soap really well. So.
guest appearance by Dawn. I used the Dawn to clean the tub. Um, and clean the filter on this thing. So don't judge me for having Dawn. All up in there. Getting all the chest loops. Yeah. Luckily, she, I mean, she really wasn't matted anywhere in the chest. And seeing some. I there was like a foxtail in her or a spear grass in her, so I was going to pull that out, but I think we're good. Alright, so I'm going to readjust her and try to do her neck and face. She's going to hate me for it, but the last must be done. Alright, babe. I'm really sorry in advance, but I got to get your face done. Like She's like, I hate you, don't talk to me. Hi, hi. So, you're gonna like really hate me for this one. But I promise you, I need all the goodness in the world. No, no, no. No, no. She's like, this is escape time now, right? She's like, ah! Come here. All boo. Come here. All boo. Just volunteer as tribute. I oh, know. She already knows. She's like, uh oh. I sense something is up with the force. <laughs> I sense a disturbance in the force. That straight up look of this, like, I hate you. This feels good, but don't, don't think that I don't hate you. Because she's enjoying it. She's kind of like, oh. Oh, well, hello there. But at the same time, she's like, I may be enjoying this, but don't think for a second I like you for it. <laughs> this is warm water, guys. So if you see her shivering, if she's just stressed out, it's, that's all it is. A new um, grooming experience can stress any dog out, no matter, no matter the breed or the size. So a lot of them react with the shaking. Oh, my God, you're going to die. This is why I have a shower. Staying in here. There's my balls of dirt. Oh, yeah, let's get all that out. I feel good, huh? I feel good, huh? into ya. Come on. Oh, I know. I'm sorry. I know, bitch. I know. I know. It must be done. It must be done. It must. I know, babe. I know. I know. This is, this is heckin'. This is heckin' for ya. Thick spot right here. I feel like the back of my neck. There we go. Okay. So now, hi, hi. You gonna shake? You do it. Do it now. Well, I have the shower curtain. Okay, you're gonna wait until like I'm fully immersed in here. Except like she hi. just had bugs you like, ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. May I speak to your manager, ma'am? She is the man. I know. <laughs> Sorry, ma'am. This is as high as we're going. It only worked if I was doing it. She's doing it right. It's a shame you don't think so, but she is. She's like, oh, heck. Don't worry, I'm not with the office yet. I don't approve. I don't approve of the process. If I give you a hug, will you stop? No. You're <laughs> just making me so I was thinking today, I was like, you know what I need? I need a freaking shower with a great hair. That is what I'm missing today. She made my dreams come true today, babe. You made my dreams come true. She's like, you're welcome. I'm gonna sack you a little bit. Try to get out of this thing. Hi. Hi.
She's such a sweet girl. of the clear liquid. Now for the condition. 
conditioning. I don't have to work as hard with, uh, with the conditioning that I, as I did with the shampoo um, because most of that undercoat's already out. At this point, it's just making sure that the conditioner gets to the skin and gets as much, you know, gets where it needs to go. To, and then we'll let it sit for a minute or two.
Oh yeah, this is bad. It's got a fine brush side and then it's got more of the um, scrubby side. So at this point, I'm not gonna sit here and scrub the soap too far into her face because there's a good possibility she may not let me take it off easily. So I'm just kind of really just brushing it into her face. See her face in the camera right now. This She's like, you will rule the day. Ruins, I say. Uh, with one eye open tonight. She's gonna wake up and I'm just gonna be over the bed. Hello. <laughs> There you go. Breathe. Good job. 
just stare impatiently like, hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay. probably going to donkey kick. She is probably going to freak out. Um, we're going to work with it the best that we can. So y'all may just see me like ah, with her for a minute, but like, trust me. Trust the process. There's the process, I swear. Okay. Are you ready, babe? Get your turn. Get your turn off. Ready? Ooh. Okay, here we go. Pick you up. One, two, three. Jump over. Whee! Good girl. Where art thou, Charger? Charger? You're a charger for your phone. Oh, is it dying? I don't know, but it's lighting changes randomly. Oh, no, it's the lighting changes from the uh, change in the lighting itself. It, it's like a just brightness. It's at 57, so we'll be able to go off. Abby! Abby! Oh, okay. Oh, thank well, you. Thank you. How refreshing! Need the big happy hoodie? Right here. Yeah, I need the big happy hoodie. Right here. So we're gonna put a happy hoodie on her head. And that's thanks. You're welcome. We're gonna friend. put a happy hoodie on her head, and this is gonna minimize the noise of the dryer a little bit for her, so hopefully she'll tolerate it better. But again, quite frankly, if you're tuning in now or if you've never seen a dog freak out for the dryer before, and I couldn't tell I'm gonna turn it on, she's gonna be perfect watch, but if she does freak out, don't worry guys, I have methods. We have this. We're professionals. Like Ghostbusters. <laughs> but doggy specialized. Okay. You having her hair protection in? No, but I'm Put your hair protection in. Can't start the dryer without it. No, no, no. I'm gonna hook you a little further back here. Babe. All right. Okay. Move all this out of the way so I have all the room needed to do this. Alright. Alright, babe. Usually I have music blasting so at least it drowns it out, but again, because I'm on live, Instagram would kick me off because some sort of music is gonna come on and they'll be like, copyright laws, which isn't wrong, but I'm like, ugh. Okay, one, two, three.
To do that for the face to make it more tolerable for the dog so it's not as loud or as hard. Giving her a 
break at this point. So um, just to give her a second to like calm down from the dryer because we're about to do her nails and finish her up. Um, so I'm just moving on to doing some things about the so give her that break. She did headbutt me. Oh, She's like, excuse you, tiny look. Begins now. She's like, I can't reach her, so you're next, tiny. <laughs> you accomplice, you did nothing. Nothing to stop. Even though I shave the entire inside, you won't really notice it until she lifts her tail up to wag it, but at least off the side, it looks like she's still got the nice fluffy Pyrenees thing going on. Fluffy so. butt! Fluffy butt. butt. And we're just getting the very last of the mats out, and then I'll scissor her up just a little bit, clean her up. After you're done brushing, always take the greyhound comb down the dog. If it doesn't go through smoothly and easily, then you're missing something. You need to go back over to the slicker brush or a or a D-shed rake. I know, babe. She's like, it's exhausting being this beautiful. It is so exhausting. Ivy, all the point dogs are going to want to come into your yard. I'm going to be like, oh. <gasps> Gorgeous. Not that you weren't gorgeous before. Now you're glistening. So great Pyrenees is like traditional. Jesus woman. <laughs> Heck. Anyways, so great Pyrenees is traditional grooming. I mean, it's really up to the parents, the pet owners, how there's not really a traditional way other than just maintaining the coat, really. Um, and obviously maintaining the nails. So for Pyrenees owners who are trying to figure out, oh, how do I, 
how do I um, how do I groom my Pyrenees? At the end of the day, it's it's really just gonna be a preference. So if you want them shorter, you can scissor them shorter. Um, if you want them longer, you can just leave them as is and then just take more time to brush them out all the time. Just make sure. I thought there was something right there. Is there something right there, or is there not? It's just thick. Is it just thick? It's just thick. She a thick girl. She a thick girl. So yeah. Sorry, I'm you a little bit over here, sorry. Oh my god, we're gonna push you over here, sorry. Let's go. Oh. Girlfriend, girlfriend. Table's over here. Table ends over there, just FYI. You're about to walk right off it again, girl. Please don't walk the plank. Maybe what we did wasn't that bad. Hey, calm down. This is the end for me. Missy, look out, little, I mean, after using that nozzle, using the dryer, Look how little is actually coming off of her now. I don't have to sit here and really, like, really fight her fur or anything. It's just, it's coming off really easy. Tail's gonna be a little bit fun, but. For tails, I like to brush them against a flat surface. Whether or not that's good for my tools is a different story, but I kind of flag out the tail and I start from the bottom. For angles, you always want to start from the ends and work your way up to the roots. Because if you start at the roots, all you're doing is pushing the tangles that are here tighter. So you want to get the tangles rid of, like you want to get rid of the tangles as you go. So you start from the bottom and work your way up and tie it. Okay, now I can go higher. why I wasn't obsessing taking all these burrs out because I knew they would come out at the very end. Plus they poke and they hurt. Oh no, those are the soft ones. Uh -huh. Yeah, those weren't the actual sticker stickers. In Texas we have like sticker stickers and they're rude and they hurt. They stab so like crazy. bad. So bad. The Pyrenees is, it's funny because even though Pyrenees are kind of, they're created for a colder climate, they're some of the best guardian dogs to have in Texas because of their thick coats. They don't get, um, the stickers don't get down to the skin as much. Like, it, it, like their, their coat works really well to protect them from a lot of the wildlife as well as environment of Texas. You've got stickers, you've got nettle, you've got poison ivy, poison oak, um, and a lot of their fur usually protects all of that. And then uh, you've got snake bites, scorpion bites, spider bites, and Again, most of the time, the, the Great Pyrenees Coat stops it before it actually gets deeper in there. I think, I could be wrong, but I think it was designed to prevent wolves. Like, they're supposed to be able to blend in with sheep, and then if a wolf attacked them, the wolf wasn't able to, like, get all the way through because their fur was thick. So, but it's still important to maintain the coat, especially in Texas. So, like, I know in colder climates, they say to not wash, um, double coated breeds as often so like I mean I'm hearing like huskies twice a year um, you don't wash them more than twice a year you just you know help their coat get out um, they're self-maintaining but in Texas it is a totally different story um, they shed and shed and go through their growth cycle a lot faster it's always hot it's always hot and if you don't get that undercoat out soon enough I have seen huskies grow mildew. I have seen huskies grow yeast infections underneath the thick fur because the, the skin just wasn't able to dry. So it, in Texas, it is one of those things where it's like, it kind of still drives me a little nuts that like husky owners are like, there are still husky owners that came from like Alaska. And they're like, oh no, I only bathe my husky twice a year. And I'm like, nah, not in Texas. Sweetheart, that's like a once a month thing, at least. If not, at least a daily brush out, you know? So, but that's the same thing with Pyrenees, um, Newfoundlands, any double-coated breed that's meant for a colder climate, if you bring them to a warmer climate like Texas, you need to maintain their coat and get them deshedded more often, get that undercoat blown out more often. What is that? Ah, it's a flake! Heck. You have one hiding, how dare you? After all I've done for you, Ivy. She looked at you like, uh... <laughs> 
Tricky oh, I'm from... done for you. You brought a flea into my van. Ma'am. Ma'am. She's like, whatever. I love you. You love me anyway. I do. She's precious. I love her. All right, let's do your um, let's do your scissoring and butt feathers real quick, huh? No, no, not about it, huh? Not about that life. All right. These are gonna up. Put this up for you. Okay. Oh my God. Everywhere. <laughs> when the dog is as big as you are. Oh my god. Yep, there's uh there's Phoebe. Hey. Four foot six for reference. My little she's my um she's my dwarf. I'm the hobbit of this grooming family. Um and then I've got two employees that are my freaking Amazon slash elves. And then um one employee who is just the regular human, <laughs> human size. There's only one naturally sized person in our group. Everybody else is not. All right, so this is the de-shedding rake. Okay, you've got it right here. Let's see how much, yeah, I have more than enough. So this is the de-shedding rake. It's got, this is more for like, if you've got more matted or thicker fur, the, the less teeth. And the more teeth is the what? Did you? Go for it. No, that's a gnat. That was a gnat. Don't scare me like that. It looked like it. I'm sorry. Anyways, she's still learning the difference. Anyways, so, um, and then the side with more teeth is more for de-shedding purposes. So I'm going to take the side with more teeth and just focus on the areas that I felt were pretty thick a little bit a minute ago. Let's just kind of get into the rest of that undercoat that may have had a harder time coming out. Partially, a lot of this was because, um, she didn't like the, the hose on her neck. So it didn't come out as much as I normally would have liked to really have tackled it in the bath. That's okay, we're getting it out now. Hey, her neck. There we go, beautiful. Okay, um, Phoebe, if you can get her to face you, I need her butt on my side. Come here, booty monster. Oh, she's like, why am I being manhandled? There is a table. There is the end of the table right there. I have told you several times, my love. That's how you go. It's okay. We all love you. And there's like nothing coming out. Usually, if I didn't have that nozzle, usually it would be like gigantic tufts of fur. This is where her mat originally was too. So just some of that leftover fur ready to fall out. We're going to encourage it to fall out right here. You can feel something there. So I'm going to take my comb. Just comb through it there. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Oh, you head buddy. I know. She's been ridiculous. Girlfriend, I need the booty this way. She's like, no. I'll fight you. Fight to the death. Just nice. doing a very basic brush out here. Because I got all of this out. I feel it. It's all just thin. It's beautiful. Funny. I know, baby. Okay. You yeah. sit down? Okay, that's fine. We'll scissor up your, uh, we'll scissor up your front side first. How about that? Scissor up for, um, how am I doing that? I can just do it this way, yeah. I'm gonna scissor up her chest fuse, as they're called, and um, also her legs. So I'm just quite frankly just gonna hold out her leg and scissor it. So I'm gonna hold it out and just kind of even it out here. And a lot of dogs, like, they need to sniff the tool that's being used in order for them to feel comfortable with it. They're really weird. It's okay, babe. I'm not letting go. Now, here's where sometimes it looks like I'm a mean groomer. So she hasn't, she's not used to me handling her leg or her foot, right? So when she doesn't want somebody handling her leg or foot, she pulls and pulls and pulls. And eventually, because a lot of people are like, oh my God, I'm hurting the dog or something, they let go. If you let go, you have now encouraged this behavior where she's just trying to pull. I'm not actually holding her foot hostage like really hard. 
or anything like that. So she's not losing any circulation. But what she's doing is she's saying, I don't want you to hold my foot anymore, but for grooming purposes, I'm going to teach her that she does not get her foot back until I give it to her because one of these days, if she decides to do this to a different groomer or to, if I encourage this behavior where she's like, I'm gonna keep pulling and pulling and pulling and pulling. If I encourage that behavior and then I try to scissor it later, she might actually get really hurt because then she's like pulling it like she kicks into my scissors. So we wanna encourage the minimal. See, now she's calmed down. She's realizing, okay, I'm not gonna win that battle. And I will reward her in just a second by letting her foot go and then giving her lots of cuddles. You see, now she's struggling a little less and less. She's not struggling nearly as hard. Okay, I'm not gonna let go. This is also what I encourage pet parents to do when they're doing nails and stuff. Um, if your dog gets hates their nails being done and then they pull and what you do to offset that pulling is you let go because you don't wanna hurt your dog, you're just encouraging that pulling behavior and that pulling behavior quickly escalates. Good girl, eat your mama, eat your mama. Um, that pulling behavior quickly escalates to nibbling which quickly escalates to biting they will escalate further and further until they meet their demands essentially um i've let dogs just straight up bite me and i'm just like let me know when you're done and after we've reached kind of that biting point where they're like this usually works and people let me go they then behave perfectly well for that so it's just a little rumor tip in my book so i'm going to take this foot brush it out Scissor, straight. See, now she's not pulling nearly as much for this foot. She knows, okay, if I just behave, we can get this done quickly. She'll let go of my foot, and then I'll get cuddles. That's the good stuff there. Good job! You did so good. Who's that good girl? You are. You're so good. Yes, you are. Good job, mama. Good job. Good job. Now we're gonna get her chest fluffies. Now you can hold her. You can hold the camera again. Chest fluffies. Chest fluffies. Oh, you, 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 you face. Oh, sorry, my bad. There we go. Okay, so now I'm just, I'm not gonna do too much on her chest. I'm not gonna do like a really a huge scissoring, quite frankly. I think, um, I think I've stressed her out enough today. So I'm just gonna lighten her up, do her feet, um, do her tail, and do her haunches. But I'm not gonna sit here and like, stress about scissoring up her stomach perfectly. I'm just basically gonna get rid of a lot of the hang, the flyaways to make it look pretty. And I do like to scissor them when they're sitting like this because if you can scissor straight, like, or if you can scissor at a straight angle like this, a lot of times when they get up later, it's straight on their body. So you don't have to like go back and actually do underneath when they stand up. So that's as much as I'm going to do there. Um, I'll, do her, I'll do her feet totally last. Okay, so now I'm going to do your booty. Let's see if we can meet up those feathers and not make them look ridiculous, okay? All right, this is where it gets fun. Yeah. Hopefully she just stays. Can you lift your tail up? Yes. Do you want the vent closed? No. I just want her tail up. There's there. No, oh, ma'am. No, ma'am. Please don't make me get the belly band because I will. Okay, I think we're gonna have to do belly band. Ma'am. You're done. Ma'am. Good girl. See, again, I didn't give in when she was struggling. I only gave in when she stopped, and that's gonna encourage that calmer behavior of like, oh, okay, if I behave, if I behave, they leave me alone. Sorry, babe. I just need to get your booty done. We are like 10 seconds from being done, okay? One, two, pull. Good girl. I know. That was scary. That was that was something, huh? Here we go. Okay. Let's get it done, babe. Okay. So I still want to keep a good portion of this. Yeah, I know. She's got such a long, fluffy tail. So Jesus. Okay. At this point, I'm going to get these flyaways that just look a little bit like really out of place here. I 
because I still want to cover this area as much as possible from the side. So I don't want to take too much off. I just really want to get it looking a little bit more even. We want it pretty but sanitary. yoga poses I was freaking doing for this dog. Just got like, I still need to do a sanitary and then I'll need all that business up too. But it's not like this is a good on your back kind of profession, okay? Gotta freaking uh, get clever here. Only the most clever people can be groomers. If y'all ever watched Doctor Who, I'm sure in one lifetime he was a groomer. Because why not? I'd be a full profession to have. I've hit millions of years. And I have groomed dogs. Yeah, sorry guys, you're gonna hear me just say really random stuff. But that just tends to happen. ADHD style got diagnosed this year. Makes so much sense now. The things that I've been going through. Back okay. his leg. It makes us more fun. It does. I'm a hoot. I'm a hoot at parties. And now, like, when I do things, I'm like, I'm sorry. It's my ADHD. It makes so much sense. Like, seriously, I, I don't use that as an excuse to get away with, like, a lot of my behavior. But it makes so much sense. A lot of the behavior that I have it's like, ugh, took me freaking 30 years to find somebody willing to diagnose me. Hey, you see how the belly band's not letting you sit down? Let me know when you're done, boo. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just sniff that. Yeah, belly band's not gonna let you sit down until I, until I let it, so I'm gonna need you to just keep standing for a second, okay? You just gotta, gotta keep on pushing here. It's just really long. It is. And you can see where it was matted up here, where all the thickness was. You can kind of see the ring where when it was so thick that it wasn't able to dry properly. So you get this kind of like light rusty color. And that's, again, a sign of yeast or some sort of skin issue. Um, often related to the skin not being able to, to essentially breathe or dry properly. Um, I know that when I was blow drying, I, oh, you can kind of see it right here. You can see little itty bitty brown speckles and then but if you look you know anywhere else like her skin's totally white and doesn't have that so again that's usually the sign of some sort of yeast issue or um, the skin just wasn't able to dry all the way or something so hi gorgeous we are almost done babe so yeah i'm gonna take her tail down i'm gonna still leave it nice and flat why are you using thinning shears? Why don't you use something else? Because that would be logical. I don't know. I just I like using thinning shears, guys. Don't judge me, okay? I don't usually use thinning shears for literally the whole room. I usually use my straights and stuff. But at this point, my thinning shears are with me. I don't feel like going through and switching out 17 different scissors while a dog struggles. So I'm just like, we're just going to do what we can here. Gonna shake her tail out. Where it falls naturally. I know, babe. Hold on. Oh, it was difficult. And I also want to keep her tail long anyway, just to cover that bare bottom thing she's got going on. I'm not 
gonna thin, I'm not gonna trim her belly up anymore either. I'm just gonna kind of leave it as is. So now we're gonna move on to uh, nails so that I can do her feet and um, brush her teeth and then she can go. So wish me luck, we're gonna see how nails go. Alright, you can sit now. You wanna sit? You can't, baby. Now I'm gonna go to the stand. She's like, no, I can't. I don't want oh, to. Oh, did you did you want me to sit? Oh, okay. Well, too bad. Let me do your scanning. Let me redo your scanning. This is a little bit. Okay, babe, ready? I'm just gonna take a ten. Oh my goodness, start a vagina. Whoop ba. It's real quick. Ah, baby, baby, baby. I'm just gonna open this up a little bit. You see that it's all rust colored in here. Wait, come on, come stand up. I'm not letting her poop go, because again, if I do, it's gonna encourage this flipping around behavior that she's doing, and that's not good for her. And it's not good for the next groomer who's gonna do her if it's not me. So, um, let's go over here and just let her kind of struggle. Okay, babe. There we go. Tell me when you're done. Uh-uh, uh-uh, tell me when you're done. It's my foot. Tell me when you're done. Good girl. Why don't you let me just do that? Booty monster. Do her butt hole. Can you hold her up? Yes, yeah, sorry. Phoebe's gonna get involved, so the, the picture may not be great. We got we got things to do. I just want to clear out some of this so when she goes potty, it does not stick to her and create any issues. There we go. That's that's done. Good girl. Okay, All right. Let's do your nails. Super excited. That is a Dremel. That is a Dremel. Woo! They don't make these anymore. Dremel micros. So now we have to purchase Dremel lights, but right now this is what's working. Okay, babe. You ready? You want to hate me in a second? So just FYI, because I was like showing you guys everything I was doing the whole time, um, I am knocking off some time because I charge hourly. I am knocking off some time because normally I would work a lot faster than this. Um, but I wanted to make sure that you guys got a good view of everything. So I'm trimming her nails. I'm basically essentially going down to the pink right here. Hello. Madam? Madam? Madam, I'm in the middle of something. And I know a lot of owners are like really afraid because of the black nails. That's what that Dremel's for, and I'll show you how to use that in a second. One, two, three, good girl. I'm gonna just bend this, go under her so that maybe she can't see it. She'll react better. Yeah, there we go. Now she's letting me do it. So um, the pink is all the way down here. I'm gonna go just, just a little bit above it. Okay, perfect. For her feet, since she's being a little silly, I'm just gonna go ahead and Actually, her black feet won't be too much trimming. I'm just going to trim them as is, though, for her sitting. I mean, I'm not putting a lot of, because I'm about to grind, and I don't think she's going to be a huge fan of the grinder. That's okay. We're going to get through it. We did. We're going to do this whole thing together, you know? And it'll be beautiful. Please don't like the phone. Like the phone. If that will distract you. So you can see, like, how long her nails were. And that's just trimming. That's not even grinding it yet. Um... So it's just, you know, nail care is important too. Um, she has small enough nails that I just used a medium sized nail trimmer or a small nail trimmer. Um, I don't like using the big ones because my hands are really small and I tend to end up pinching my my hand every single time. So, are you ready to do grinding? You're gonna hate it. You ready? Yeah, we're just gonna get through it like a champ, okay? Here we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my chest, my, my shoulder against her chest so that she can't see it. I'm going to bend her foot backwards, remove all the fur. I'm 
I'm blocking her from seeing it because a lot of the times if they can't see it, they will behave a lot better than if they can. And I'll show you an example in just a minute. So this smooths it out, makes it just up to that quick. show you why I block it so that they don't see it. Because 98% of the time, if they can see it, this is what happens. It's just a lot harder to control. She's just looking around and then she sticks it where the fur got caught a little bit. Don't worry, it didn't hurt her. She obviously didn't yell. But that's why. That right there is why. I don't let them see the brighter most of the time. There are some dogs that do better if they can see it, but for the most part, shoulder to chest. So my shoulder is going into her chest, kind of pushing her back a little bit so that she's blocked by the wall right there, lifting up her foot. Now, the other thing I don't do is I don't just grab the foot and go, this is mine now. Um, I tend to tap, kind of be like, hey, I'm about to do something with this foot so she can adjust her weight. That's why a lot of dogs don't like their feet being messed with. A lot of people just tend to grab and then the dog ends up kind of falling over and then they struggle and it's like, what is happening? So I tend to kind of tap to pre-warn her, hey, I'm doing something with this foot now, okay? So I'm letting her back up into the wall if she needs to. I'm not letting her see it though. And I have a lot more control because she can't see it. Doing great. differently for grinding and I'm going to tell you why I have seen what freshly sharp nails have done to children and the elderly I've seen it happen with my children I've seen it happen with my husband's grandmother and I just I, I can't in good conscience after seeing the amount of damage that freshly sharp freshly trimmed nails can do to, to skin I can't in good conscience to let them walk out with that so so I don't like them so it's included in my service I mean, I can taste you. <laughs> like her hair is in the back of my throat. about if the if the skin can't breathe very well you end up getting this brown colored fur it's essentially like I don't know I've heard different things of what it is but it's basically rust it's the equivalent of like 
it's just moisture is causing a yeast, and that yeast ends up growing in the yellow brownish color. Bless you. Thank you. So, I'm not going to go into her paws because, quite frankly, I think she's going to kick and it's going to be just a little too dangerous this time. But I am going to still just graze it. You can see she does have some sort of allergy issues though because usually when paws are pink like this, it's because um, they've either played out uh, a lot of times this, like, for, like they just look a little swollen due to um, allergies, which Texas is known for. Texas, okay. allergy season all year. Yeah. Is it gonna rain? Is it gonna hail? Will there be a tornado? Who knows? The only sure thing is we'll have allergies. Hi. Beautiful, Mama. Good. Good job, babe. Good job. Good job. All right, last one. Okay, one, two, three, turn. I know, two of these favorite things to do. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, done. encourage if I let go because she's acting like she doesn't want it done anymore I'm gonna encourage this behavior when I have sharp scissors in my hand so what I want to encourage is calm behavior when I have scissors in my hand and then I'm gonna give her a second to stop moving good girl what did you mama you're so good you're so good I missed a little bit but that's okay we're gonna scissor it like that huh Okay, ready? Other foot. Here we go. Topher. Some people like the Grinch feet, some people don't. It's a matter of preference. I'm only basically taking away her Grinch feet um, because she is still boarding. And I want her parents to pick her up nice and clean. So we're going to minimize the amount of hair that can get dirty. Oops, because I just took a little too much far. But that's okay, we blended it, it's fine. I'm gonna wait till she stops shaking. Mm -mm. You good? Good girl. Good girl, mama, good girl. Back feet, I'm not gonna fight with her. I'm just gonna pick up this fur and do it in her natural position. She just seems a little bit more comfortable here. Basically all I'm doing is getting anything that hangs over the paw pad, I'm just scissoring that so that her paw pad, um, there's not a lot of fur falling on the floor. And then I'm gonna try not to stab her, that would be the goal. There we go. And if I see anything when she gets up to move, I'll fix it in a second, but... Oh! Rude! Ma'am, I'm not done with that. Stand up, 
we're, we're here at the finish line here. I know, babe. I know. Hold on. Just let me get this. Just let me get this. It looks ridiculous. There we go. It's like her back two claws wanted to grow in, but then they didn't. How strange. All right. With that, that's how we grow our little pickanies for pickanies. Pyrenees. Two dollar different breeds. All right, guys. I'm tired. See, say. And this is the most important part of the groom. The aftercare. Cuddles! That's all the cuddles in the world. If she wants a treat, she's gonna get a treat. She did excellent. You did so good for your first time, babe. I'm not gonna even leave her like, loose anymore. If she wants to jump off the table, she certainly can. You did so good, babe. You did so good. Look, look, look. Who is that good girl? Who is that good girl? You wanna get down? Go ahead, mama. You're free. Go on. Be free. And that way you can kind of see how her bed looks. I'll see it from a distance. There you go. Okay. So you can't really tell too too much the fact that we shaved pretty much all of that. Um, unless you really lift your tail up and then you see that bare bottom. But good girl. And we're done. Thanks for joining. Bye, guys.